Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, gagawa din ang review ang iPhone SE kung worth it pa rin siyang bilhin in 2020. So yun guys, itong iPhone SE pala, binili ko to nung first vlog ko which is yung event that time is soft opening ng bagong franchise na business nila ko which is known as the Don C. And actually guys, nag-vlog din ako doon. And nag-comment guys yung papa ni Kong. Also nang yung papa shoutout sa video natin guys. So, Sobrang tuwan-tuwa ako guys that time. Kung hindi nyo pa guys napapanood and kung gusto nyo rin guys makita yung comment ni Papa Shoutout, I will put down the link in the description box. Okay. So guys, yung nabubungad sa atin is the iPhone itself. Ayan, ang ganda. iPhone SE Special Edition. Tapos ito. Then yung mga paperwork where nandito yung manual and Apple sticker. And lastly guys is the accessories which is yung typical accessories na naman sa mga iPhones before. Which are the earpods, adapter, and yung lightning cord guys. So guys, yung iPhone SE was released no March 31, 2016 along with iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus. So guys, yung iPhone SE that time is just a budget friendly phone where yung iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus are the flagship phones. Also guys, plug ko lang, I made a review of the iPhone 6S, so kung sino guys panoorin, I will put down the link in the description box. Okay. Yung build ng iPhone SE sa front is glass, wherein yung back niya in yung frame is aluminum. The iPhone SE weighs 113 grams and mas mabigat siya ng 1 gram over the iPhone 5S. So guys, kapag in-observe niyo yung iPhone SE, para lang siyang iPhone 5S, well, you are correct. Ginawang inspiration ng Apple yung iPhone 5S to make the iPhone SE. However guys, may mga massive upgrades na ginawa yung Apple in terms of the hardware or the specs of the iPhone SE, which is pag-usapan natin later. Also guys, makapansin nyo sa iPhone SE, is napakaliit niya. However guys, huwag yung mamalitin yung small form factor nito. Ang kinaganda naman ng iPhone SE is convenient siya and compact. Basically guys, ang maganda sa iPhone SE is Pwede mo siya gamitin one-handed where inabot mo lahat ng sides ng phone. And also guys, sa iPhone 5S review ko, sabi ko doon na the iPhone 5S design is my favorite design among all of the iPhone's design. Although guys, there's nothing special about the design. Hindi naman nag-stand out that much. However guys, yung magandang factor nito is yung pagiging compact niya and yung nostalgic design. Also guys, yung gusto ko dito is yung camera lens does not stick out where in compared sa mga flagship nowadays. Naka-stick out yung camera lens sila guys or naka-embose. Also guys, sa kagandahan ng design ng iPhone 5S, ito yun yung naging inspiration sa bagong release na iPhone which is the iPhone 12. So kung mapansin nyo guys, almost the same design lang sila. Tapos guys, the iPhone SE along with the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus are the last iPhones na may headphone jack. The following year nung ni-release yung iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus, Apple ditch the headphone jack. Also guys, plug ko ulit, I made a review of the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. So kung gusto nyo guys panoorin, I will put down the link in the description box. Tapos guys, yung iPhone SE is may second gen fingerprint sensor which is ito din yung ginagamit ng iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. Which is mabilis guys ang fingerprint sensor ng iPhone SE. So to prove it guys, i-demonstrate ko sa inyo. So guys, the conclusion about the design of the iPhone SE. For me, napansin ko na medyo outdated na siya guys and irrelevant na yung design niya in today's standards. However, maganda factor dito na nagustuhan ko is the compact design wherein hindi nag-stick out yung camera lens guys. Tapos yung rectangular shape form factor guys, sobrang nakakamiss lang, sobrang nostalgic guys. But a major problem ko lang naman dito guys is the screen to body ratio or yung bezels niya which is napakalaki which is pag-usapan natin mamaya. Yung type ng LCD na iPhone SE is IPS LCD. It has 4 inches and a screen to body ratio of 60.8%. Then yung resolution niya is 640 by 1136 pixels and has a PPI density of 326. Well, in today's standards guys, honestly, okay pa naman yung display ng iPhone SE. It produces vibrant colors, maganda maganda, fantastic resolution is great. However guys, major problem for people like me kasi sanay ako sa malaking phones guys, di ba? Sa iPhone 7 pa lang, sa iPhone 6s, iPhone 6, yung mga non-plus models is 
medyo naninibago ako or at some point nahihirapan akong gamitin kasi maliit lang yung phone e paano pa kaya guys yung iPhone SE which is sobrang liit 4 inches lang so that's one factor to consider kapag bibili ka ng iPhone SE however guys if you don't care that much about the screen size yes maganda maganda iPhone SE fantastic resolution sobrang vibrant ng screen So guys, kapag binili natin ng brand new iPhone SE, magsisimula muna siya sa iOS 9, then upgradable to the latest software. Which is isang magandang feature ng iPhone SE. And take note guys, the iPhone SE is the smallest iPhone na supported pa rin ng iOS update. Yung chipset na ginagamit ng iPhone SE, same lang naman sa flagship phones, which is the Apple A9 chip. It has 2GB of RAM, then yung available ROM niya or storage niya are 16GB, 32GB, and 64GB. So yun guys, regarding sa performance ng iPhone SE, sobrang smooth niya pa rin naman guys in today's standards, given the fact na this is a 4-year-old phone. Honestly, I don't experience lags that much, or freezing problems, or hanging problems whenever I do multitasking, or even simple tasks guys. Also guys, for this review, gumawa ko ng small experiment wherein kinompare ko yung iPhone 6S and the iPhone SE in terms of its speed, and napansin ko guys, surprisingly, somehow mas mabilis yung iPhone SE compared to the iPhone 6S. Although, hindi naman ganun kalaking difference nila. But ayun guys, bala ko gawa ng detailed comparison review ang iPhone 6S and the iPhone SE soon. Regarding naman sa gaming, very smooth ang iPhone SE given the fact na this is powered by an Apple A9 chip and it has 2GB of RAM. However guys, makaka-face lang naman tayo ng two problems. One is yung small form factor niya. So basically guys, hindi ganun kaganda yung magiging experience natin sa phone kasi sobrang liit ng phone guys. And kung galing ka sa let's say Android phone or iPhone na malaking screen, talaga maninibago kayo guys. However guys, kung sanay naman kayo sa maliliit na phone and ang preference mo yung sa maliliit na phones, trust me guys, maganda maganda ang iPhone SE. However guys, kung mag-stream kayo or whatsoever, magiging problem lang naman guys is the battery which is mag-usap natin later. Sa back camera ng iPhone SE, it has 12 megapixels and an aperture of f-stop 2.2. Then yung available video resolutions niya are 720p at 30fps, 1080p at 30 or 60fps, and 4K at 30fps. So yun guys, I will be showing you some pictures and videos coming from the iPhone SE. So, let's go! So guys, ito yung back video quality ng iPhone SE. It has 12 megapixels and an aperture of f-stop 2.2. And yung gamit kong video resolution is 1080p at 60fps. So from what I can see guys, very stabilized yung video. And yung colors ng mga subjects like yung leaves and yung flowers are very vibrant guys. And vivid. So try naman natin siya guys gamitin for vlogging in 3, 2, 1. So guys, ito yung back camera quality ng iPhone SE for vlogging. Napapansin ko guys na parang GoPro lang siya. GoPro lang siya but a little bit bigger. So yun guys, share ko lang. Bala ko gumawa ng comparison review between the iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S soon. Kasi na-feel ko na it is a good comparison since same, same lang sila ng specs. And iti-check natin dun guys kung gano'n baka bilis yung flagship na iPhone 6S over the budget phone na iPhone SE. So kung gusto nyo guys mapanood yun, make sure to drop a like on this video. So yun guys, regarding sa picture quality muna. Yes, maganda maganda pa rin. Relevant siya in today's standards. For a 4 year old phone guys, maganda maganda yung camera quality ng iPhone SE. Then regarding naman sa video, yes maganda siya for vlogging kapag gagamitin mo yung back camera niya. Kasi it has stabilization and overall maganda maganda yung camera. Sa front camera ng iPhone SE, it has 1.2 megapixels. And has an aperture of f-stop 2.4. Then yung only video resolution niya is 720p at 240fps. So yun guys, I will be showing you some pictures, videos coming from the iPhone SE. So let's go! So guys, ito yung front camera quality ng iPhone SE for vlogging. It only has 1.2 megapixels and from what I can see guys, medyo shaky yung video. Wait, pasok tayo guys, masyadong maliwanag. So yun guys, nag-teleport na tayo sa second floor. So, ayun, I'm still using the front camera for vlogging. And I will not suggest using the iPhone SE for vlogging kasi number one problem is not stabilized yung video. Plus, the video quality guys in general is not that sharp. 
Kasi 1.2 megapixels, parang iPhone 5 is lang din and the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. And also guys, ayoko dito is kitang kita yung pimples ko. Kaya I'm facing this side para hindi makita. And also guys, bagong gupit na ako. So, yun lang. Share ko lang. So yun guys, regarding sa front camera ng iPhone SE, for me, to be straightforward guys, hindi siya maganda. Given the fact na 1.2 megapixels, which hindi sila guys nag-upgrade kasi ganun din yung megapixels ng iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. They produce low quality images. Hindi siya ganun kaganda gamitin and play standards. Even 4 years ago guys, yung nearly sa iPhone SE, hindi maganda camera quality kasi di ba nga, 1.2 megapixels were new sa iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus has 5 megapixels. So kung gagamitin nyo guys to for vlogging using the front camera, I highly suggest na wag. But kung gustong gusto nyo talaga guys yung iPhone SE, you may use the back camera for vlogging. The iPhone SE has 1,624 mAh. So in real life situation guys, in day to day usage, mga naka 1 hour lang ako dito, 2 hours or 3 hours being the max. Kaya kapag balak nyo mag grind using the iPhone SE, kailangan mo yung dala kang power bank or na charger kasi hindi talaga guys kakayanin. So yun guys, that's pretty much my review about the iPhone SE. So the question is, worth it mabili ng iPhone SE in 2020? For me guys, it is a yes and a no. Yes, worth it siyang bilhin kapag gagamitin mo as a secondary phone or a backup phone. However, kung bala po siya gamitin as your personal driver, I highly suggest na wag guys. So, I will explain why. So guys, kaya ako nasabing yes, maganda siyang bilhin as your backup phone. It is because smooth ang iPhone SE. Wala siya masyadong lag or hanging problems, it gets the job done. Kapag nalobot yung daily driver mo or yung primary phone mo, you can relate to your iPhone SE. Then in terms naman sa camera guys, yes maganda maganda yung camera quality. Maganda siya for vlogs, especially the back camera. And yung maganda dito guys is yung convenience niya and yung compact factor niya. So guys, yun yung mga good factors na I can think of. Kaya maganda siya gamitin na your backup phone. So guys, kaya ako naman nasabi na no. Number one problem is the screen size. Ako kasi guys, I am fond or sanay gumamit ng mga malalaking phones. Like the plus models and yung may mga notch. For example, yung kapasa ka ng email or ng Wattpad or anything important guys. Konti na yung content na mapaproduce ng iPhone SE. Tapos when you're going to watch movies guys or YouTube, hindi maganda experience ito guys kasi maliit lang yung screen. And lastly guys, the number one factor kung bakit ako nag-disagree to use the iPhone SE as your personal driver, it is the battery. It only has 1,624 mAh which is very small guys into the standards. Plus in terms of gaming naman guys, Straight gaming, naka 1 hour lang ko dito or even less than that guys. Kaya that's one major problem about the iPhone SE. So yun guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Kung may mga suggestions kayo guys, opinions, and advice about my videos, just comment below guys, pag-usapan natin. So yun guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Bye!